Hi, class of 2024. This is Sabrina, the vice president of Shabbat at Harvard Hillel. And even though we're so sad that you can't join us on campus for all of our Shabbat festivities this semester, we wanted to bring a little description of what we do each week um, to you virtually, but we're really excited to see you in the fall. So for Reform Services, every Friday we have a really beautiful Kabbalat Shabbat. Um, it's led by Rabbi Jen, who's absolutely wonderful, and you'll get to meet really soon. Um, we do a lot of singing. We often do some sort of guided meditation or just some really beautiful way um, to relax at the end of a really busy week. Um, but the services are usually like an hour or a little more, and they're right before dinner, which makes it super convenient. Um, but it's just really nice to gather with the Reform community and just celebrate the entrance of Shabbat together. And I've always loved it as just a way to, to relax at the, at the end of the week and to really connect with your spirituality. So um, we're excited to see you there. Hi, I'm Noah, uh, and I'm one of the members of uh, the Student Conservative Minions Nebulous Leadership Team, which is made up of a bunch of awesome people who come together to make services happen and events happen, like movie nights uh, and, you know, forum parties and stuff like that. Um, so Friday night services for us, they'll start um, and we'll say a time they start and then you show up. And generally we all stand around and talk for 10 or 15 minutes because we all like hang out with each other. And uh, that's just a good time and you can catch up with people on their week eventually we get started um and so we'll do a fairly traditional kabbalah shabbat and mariv and usually there will be a devar in the middle or a few words of torah from um, either a student or a rabbi uh, rabbi getzel and um so we'll do that and then there's a lot of singing there's a lot of dancing uh and then we'll go to uh dinner with everyone else which is amazing um it's a fairly traditional liturgy, um, and some people include the, the Imahot or the matriarchs as well um, in the prayers. Um, and so that's basically the only difference from standard liturgy. Uh, some tunes are different, I guess. Um, then on Saturday morning, sometimes we'll have uh, Shabbat Shacharit as well with Torah reading. Um, and when that happens, um, usually once or twice a month, um, we'll show up nice and early and we do comfy chair Shabbat, uh, which is in the lounge. Um, but there's Torahs and an ark and everything there. So, um, it's very nice. We had a pajama Shabbat once. So people can come lounge in the comfy chairs in their pajamas and do shakri, which was a lot of fun. Uh, most weeks we'll end up having mincha as well in the afternoon, which is the afternoon service. Um, but again, it's all fairly traditional liturgy, but with, a very welcoming environment with open arms where we're happy to explain anything. We're happy to teach you how to lead. We'd love to have you uh, come and join us and um, be part of our loving community and share Shabbat with us. Hi, my name is Ben Simon. I am a rising senior the Vice President of Community Relations on the Harvard Hill Student Steering Committee, and most importantly for this video, an active member of the Orthodox Student Minion, the OSM at Harvard. I'm going to briefly talk about what Shabbat davening is like for the Orthodox Student Minion. So on Friday night, we have a really nice, um, spirited, song-filled, beautiful Shabbat davening. Not just Orthodox undergraduates come to Shabbat davening in general, also community members, young community members mostly, and lots of grad students. So davening on Shabbat is, is very large and, and filled with lots of ruach and lots of singing and lots of people. Saturday morning, davening usually starts around 9 a.m. and goes until about 11, followed immediately by a Devar Torah at the end of davening by either Rav Dani, who is the Orthodox Rabbi at Hillel, or Avital, who is the uh, rabbinic intern, clergy intern at Hillel. And after that, there's Kiddush for the entire minyan. Sometimes, every once in a while, usually maybe once every month or once or twice every month, 
there is a special undergrad only kiddish downstairs for the Orthodox Minion, which is a great time for the Orthodox undergrads to hang out with each other um, away from the Minion itself, which is much larger than, than just the Orthodox undergrads. And then later in Shabbat, right before Sadash Lishit, there is Shabbat Mincha, followed by Sadash Lishit, which has lots of nice singing. And then Mariv, and after that, a very nice um, song-filled Havdalah. We're looking forward to seeing you soon. Shabbat dinner is just one of the most special times in the week because any other time in the week, if there's a meal or an event, there are always people who are running someplace or can't really be there fully because they have so many other things to take care of. But with Shabbat dinner, people really come to dinner willing to spend time with friends and knowing that they're setting aside this time for the purpose of being present in the moment of Shabbat. The way Shabbat dinner works is everyone gathers together in our beautiful dining hall and the vice president of Shabbat calls everyone to order, wishes everyone a Shabbat Shalom and we start singing Shalom Aleichem, um, the traditional song to welcome in the Shabbat. And then we have one student lead the Kiddush prayer over a cup of grape juice. And for those whose custom it is, they can wash their hands and everyone else can eat challah. Um, and then the meal starts. It's usually delicious. Um, there's matzo ball soup. We have chicken and meat and all sorts of vegetables and kugel. Sometimes there will be a stuffed cabbage. Um, and at the end of the meal, we make sure to thank the dining staff and they come out and we give them a round of applause. And then there's the traditional grace after meals that we say, as I like to, to put it, we first thank the dining hall staff that made the meal and then we thank God for having provided the food. So that's sort of the structure of our Friday night meal. And then because people just love each other so much and wanna keep hanging out, we continue the socializing at an oneg, which is sort of an after party for Shabbat, which has lots of food and snacks. And it's just a great way to keep the Shabbat spirit alive because the meal is not the only place where Shabbat lives. Shabbat lives throughout the entire 25 hours. And really whoever comes to spend Shabbat at Harvard Hillel can just feel the sense of presence and rest that really just permeates the entire space and our entire community. Hey guys, it's 2024. I'm Esther. I'm a sophomore and the VP of Community Building at Harvard Hillel. Um, coming to you from Milford, Connecticut, where I am quarantined, which is a great time. Uh, yeah, so I'd say Shabbat day is probably the thing that I miss most. Right now, it's such a beautiful time on campus to just kind of divorce yourself from the worries of the week, just be in the present with your friends, um, with your friends, with the Hill staff, with everyone in the building. I don't know. It's like, I think, a really unique experience. Um, my day usually starts at around 1 p.m. I attend their prayer services. We have Orthodox, Conservative, and Reform um, congregations, and also sometimes a Yaltarian one. So after prayer services, we all gather in the D Hall for Kiddush and lunch, which is like chicken and pasta, veggies, rice, I don't know, it's your classic Hillel lunch. It's pretty good, pretty decent. Um, and then we'll sing Zmirot, which is really nice. Mirot are your traditional Jewish songs um, that are special for Shabbat. Uh, sometimes we have some untraditional ones, <laughs> like I try to get people to sing my Hasidic songs, but that doesn't always work. That goes on for a while. Afterwards, usually people just hang around in the building playing board games. We have Shabbat yoga. Oftentimes we'll have someone come and give a seminar or a student will give a talk. Uh, people will go on walks together. Some people go home and nap. And then later we have evening prayer services and also what's called Suzy Ashley Sheet, which is the third traditional meal of Shabbat. Um, and then people gather for Havdalah, which is the service that says farewell to Shabbat and ushers in the new week. More singing, 
Oh, also at Ciudad Jalijit, we have more singing. And then after Shabbat, we all have dinner together, which is catered by a local Jewish restaurant. Sometimes we have salmon, and sometimes we have mac and cheese, and sometimes we have both salmon and mac and cheese when Davy's in charge. Also, sometimes it's like meat or whatever. It's great. It's, a, it's like the best meal of the week. Um, and yeah, we all, everybody kind of just lounges in the building afterwards. Sometimes we'll do a movie night or we'll all go out somewhere together. Yeah, it's a great time. I miss it a lot. I'm so excited to see all of you uh, at Hillel next fall.